Hey guys, welcome to our next uh, math lesson. It's interpreting data again, but this time we're going to look at line graphs. Can you please make sure your data model is inputted and get ready to answer some questions? So first of all, what is a line graph? Well, uh, and why do we use a line graph instead of say a bar chart or a pictogram? Now a line graph specifically looks usually at one variable and it tracks it over time. So we can see here for plant growth, we've got January to July, and you can see how the plant has increased in height after each one of those months that they've checked the uh, height on. So how tall was the plant at the start of March? So find March on the, uh, the chart, track it up and look at the height. If you said 40 centimeters, you'd be correct. Okay, in what month did the plant reach 70 centimeters? So this time now we're gonna look for the value that we found, 70, track, cross, and then check the month going down. So if you put June, you'd be correct. And last but not least, estimate the date when the plant was 30 centimeters tall. So estimate the date when the plant was 30 centimeters tall. So again, find roughly where 30 centimeters is and check the date. So sometime between February and March, if you put something like the 14th or anything a few days either side of that, oh, that'll be a, uh, a good answer. Well done. So we've got temperature of tea here looking at the start of the morning, 9 a.m. up until 11 a.m. and see how the uh, temperature decreases. So first question, what was the temperature of the tea at 10 a.m.? OK. If you put 40 degrees, you'd be correct. Okay, next question. What was the time when the T was 20 degrees? So if you find 20 degrees, track down and put 10.30 a.m., you would be correct. Well done. And last question. Estimate the temperature at 9.45 a.m. So find that time frame and then find out what temperature it roughly was. OK, so if you put 50 degrees, you would be correct. Now, the big difference between these two questions, what was versus estimate, what was is asking for a specific answer that has been given. So it's a bit like a retrieval question, whereas an estimate is a, um, a question where we need to use our knowledge and our information on the screen to make a good educated guess. OK, then, guys. Uh, have a go at question one on the worksheet and I'll catch up with you in a second. OK, so um, we're having a look at a bike journey chart now. So how long does it take to cycle the first 20 kilometers? Now, if you put one hour, you would be correct. If you put 2 p.m., you'd be incorrect because we are looking at the amount of time that's passed, not the time that that person has taken to get to 20K. What happens between 2 p.m. and 2.30 p.m. is our next question. So he's traveled, or she's traveled, sorry, should I say, 10 kilometers in the first half an hour, an additional 10 kilometers in the second half an hour, and then they've traveled nothing in the next half an hour. So what do you think has happened to the cyclist to have meant that they've traveled the same distance between 2 and 2.30 p.m.? Okay, if you've put the right cyclist has stopped, paused, had a puncture, anything that meant that they were stationary, you would be correct. Well done. Okay then, guys. So now we're looking at our daily water consumption. Now, if you need to input data, you need to make sure that these figures along the bottom are spaced out evenly. So if you've got five spaces, one, two, three, four, five, and you know that the last hour is the 10th, you need to make sure that you divide the range by the amount of spaces available. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Ten divided by five gives us spacing of two hours per section. Same with the liters. We know that the 11 liters is the largest amount, but that's an odd number, so it's easier to work in even numbers. So if we go zero to 12, that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. 12 divided by six gives us two liters per deviation. Once we've got that, we can start plotting our figures. So we find the zero, move up, find the two, and put our first mark down. Then the next one, we find the two, move up to the four, put our X down. Now, if I put it to the next box, I'd have made a mistake. I need to make sure that I'm following 
the exact hours and liters to ensure it goes into the right place. Once I find the right spot, I can join a line up, plot the rest of my data, and create a line graph. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video there, have a go at questions two and three on the sheet, and let me know if you struggle with any of those questions, and I'll help where I can. Have good luck, guys. Bye.